What's up guys, Ergor here. We just got done with the uh, Spiritborn reveal stream that Blizzard did today, and I'm just gonna do a quick uh, first impressions video. This isn't going to go over the blog post that they posted right after. I'm gonna do a bit more of an in-depth video for that later in a couple days. I just wanted to get my thoughts out for this stream real quick because I don't have a lot of time before the PoE stream starts, but uh, it looks pretty cool. I think it, I think there's a lot of really cool, fairly unique ideas going into this. It's it's a dexterity class, which I think makes sense since that's one of the classes that we only had one for the stat. And it makes sense thematically. They definitely looked like they would be a fast moving class. The spirit guardian system looks really cool. The animations for all of the abilities that summon the spirit guardians to like attack alongside the spirit born, they all look really cool. I'm really liking the theming. The ones that seem the most interesting to me are the gorilla because the fact that like some of the abilities scale with the amount of damage that you've taken recently to increase the damage of the attack is a really neat idea for an ability. You don't really see that kind of stuff that much in ARPG, so I like that. And the other one I really like the look of is the centipede. I really like like poison-based stuff in in ARPGs a lot of the time, so the centipede is like right up my alley. And you don't usually see centipedes as like spirit guardians that like spirit-based things in games and stories and stuff actually worship. So it's kind of cool to see it here. Because it makes it fairly unique. But I do like how they're also introducing new methods of itemization for the class as well. Things that are unique to the class. But that'll help the class feel even more unique in more aspects of the game. Like the Pestilent Swarm thing they kind of likened to Dust Devils and Grenades. Where you don't really have like a direct ability that makes these things happen. But you have powers and uniques that create them and you have ways to scale them. I've always liked the Dust Devils build and the Grenades build always look kind of interesting. So having another one of those is kind of cool to me. I'll definitely be looking forward to trying that, especially since it seems to be associated with the Centipede. I'm definitely going to be trying out a Centipede based build first. I might even do like a combination Centipede Gorilla build. I think that would be cool. I also didn't necessarily expect them to add new weapons, but apparently they're adding both quarterstaffs and glaives, so that's going to be neat. I, w I do wonder if only Heartborn are going to be able to use them, or if they'll become available to, like, Barbarian. It'd be kind of cool if Barbarian had a source, or had even more options for weapon uh, implicits, but then again, Barbarian already has a ton of options for weapon implicits, so they might not necessarily really need it. I could see I could see druids getting access to quarterstaff though. His uh quarterstaff could work really well with druids. Their class mechanic looks kind of neat too. The spirit hall, essentially the way it seems to work is when you initially unlock it, you get to choose one of the four spirits as your main spirit and what that does is it gives you a buff depending on the spirit and then it applies that spirit's tag to all of your abilities. So no matter what ability you use, it benefits from any passives or unique items or legendary powers that apply to that tag. So that, that'll make it easier for you to incorporate the abilities of other spirits into your build that's not necessarily based on that spirit. And then later on, probably about level 30, the first one will probably be about level 15, and the second one will probably be about level 30. That's how the other classes usually work. The second one lets you pick another spirit as your secondary bonus. And they said that those give you four small bonuses that are kind of global to the character. They're not really associated with just that spirit. And you can pick the same spirit for both. So you could double up on, on the centipede, for example, or you could go centipede and jaguar, or centipede and gorilla, etc. They're also going to have four ultimates because they're going to have one ultimate for each of the spirit guardians. And the ultimates are kind of cool because they're not like minion builds per se, but they are all themed around kind of manifesting a representation of the spirit guardian. So, like, for example, the gorilla one is a big spirit gorilla comes into the world and slams the ground in a big circle right in front of it and does damage every time it slams. And if you're in the circle, you get barrier as well. 
the centipede one, it like summons the centipede up out of the ground. And he's kind of like a, a Hydra-esque turret. It shoots out poison lasers and like it's it'll spit out globs of poison as well for a few seconds and then it goes away. The eagle one, it like hovers out in the air above you and applies vulnerable to everything in a big circle under it as it charges up and when it's done charging it zaps the area with like a huge lightning damage and then the jaguar ultimate is you leap to an area and the jaguar like slams down in a big circle with you and then it turns into like a flurry of claws around your character that does a bunch of damage over time and then disappears. So those are all really cool, and they're really representative of what the Spirit Guardians kind of, like, embody. The gorilla is all about, like, protection and defense and, like, turning damage that you've taken back towards the enemy. And the jaguar is kind of, like, high-speed aggression and chaos. And the eagle is, is also about, like, high speed and aggression but like more accurate instead of chaotic and the centipede is kind of like it kind of represents the cycle of life and death but like specifically the like attrition of of like aging and decay so it's all about dot damage and like crowd control and and sucking the life out of things and stuff like that it's all very thematic and very cool and as I said before, all of the animations for everything just look really cool. But yeah, I, I really like the class. I think it looks really cool. I'm really looking forward to when we can eventually get our hands on it. There's a lot more to go over on it. I'm going to do another video on this probably in a day or two. I'll go over, I'm going to go over the blog post that they just posted and get all the details out of that and put together a more constructed video about all of what you can expect from the class. There will be a PoE video coming for the Settlers of Kalgor reveal that they just did today. I'm recording this right before that goes live. So look forward to that. You can find that here. And I've been streaming on Twitch pretty much every day except Sunday lately. So you can find me there. 6.30p is usually when I start and I go for like four or five hours. But I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.